So let's see some of this in action. To do that, I'm going to get rid of my diagram here, and then I'm going to explain my environment. I am running a two-node Oracle Rack cluster in a virtual environment on my laptop here. And what you can see on the screen is just simply two terminal sessions, one to host O1 and the other one to host O2. That's it, nothing special so far. Before I can begin with my demonstration, I have three scripts that I'll use in the demo. They just save me a lot of typing, make my life easier. The first one is one that I call just session stats. And if I look at the contents of that script, it's just selecting from the stat name and the session stats. There are four particular session stats that I'm interested in. And I will get those for my specific user environment for my SID. Um, so basically I'll be able to run that and see what my session stats are at that moment in time. There's another one that I use which just starts a trace in my session. And all that does is go through and select you know, my SID and serial number from V$ session and then it uses the DBMS monitor package to start a trace in my session. And notice that I have both weight events and bind variables true. Uh, just in case I need this for various reasons, I want to be able to capture both. And then the last script that I'll use is one that just generates the path and name to my trace file. So feel free to use these if you like them. There are other ones out there on the internet that do something similar. You may already have something in your code library that you use, but nothing special here. Get my session stats, start a trace in my session, and see what my trace file name is. So let's look at an example of Cache Fusion in action. So I'm going to connect to my instance here with SQL Plus. And we can see that SQL Plus is at the 12.1.0.1 release. And it even says I'm connected to Oracle Database 12C Enterprise Edition release 12.1.0.1 as well. And in the other tab on the other session, I'll connect as well with SQL Plus. This instance was freshly started. There is nothing, nothing special about it. So I'm going to create a table that I'm going to use for my demonstration. So I'm going to call this database objects as select everything from the DBA objects view. And my user Scott is a little different than most that might, most people might have because in my sandbox, in my test bed here, I just granted the DBA role to Scott just to make my life easier. I'm going to create an index on that table. On the object ID column, which we know from our experience is a unique column, uh, the primary key to database objects, actually to the underlying table sys obj dollar but I'm just going to add that index here because I want to be able to get a index lookup in my example here and then I'm going to just gather stats on that table okay stats are gathered on there now what I want to do is bounce the instances. While that's coming down, I'm going to go over to this SQL Plus session I established on the other host and exit out of there. Okay, the instances, instances are down, so I'm going to start them. And now all instances are up, so I will connect to Scott again.